Doug Jenkins and Brian Wallace with you here on WOSN. It's Ottaville, the Big Green at 18-0-2, taking on Mansfield Christian at 14-5-1. And, and as you can see, Ottaville's got a good position here as we begin our broadcast. A free kick from just outside the 20. There's the shot just punched over the goal as that was touched away by Griffin Baker, the senior keeper, who makes a big save. And that'll bring up an Ottaville corner kick. They go to a quick, put it low on the ground. But clearance from Mansfield Christian. So, Brian, we're in that feeling out process of every high school soccer game, that first five to ten minutes, you usually kind of get a feel for your opponent. Sometimes it's a little back and forth in this part of the game. Yes, it looks like that uh, Otterville's getting hey, ben, uh, deep I have pressure no on here. Mansfield Christian right now. They're All actually they been, uh, tried, attacking in their defensive third, and now you can see Mansfield trying to get a good run up the side, but uh, Otterville defends ben? it really well there. So uh, I, there, I have no air So Schnipke with the takeaway there, and Schnipke's going to go ahead and press I forward with the pressure, four even though with the ball is uh, Wyszynski. Wyszynski sends it out of bounds. It feels a high-pressure team. You see them put a like lot uh, of pressure on every opponent they've played yeah, all year, I no matter like the ability of the opponent. They're, they've got to get some good teams. They don't change their game. There's a header put right into the waiting arms of the keeper. And likewise, on the other side, uh, Mansfield Christian is a defensive yeah, so, uh, strong I'm team. Uh, they're going to rely on their backs, the and they're going to rely on uh, their goalkeeper, which I don't, has been I don't nominated for the All-American goalkeeper in the state of Ohio, and they're waiting to see how that's going to come out this next week. But the coach actually uh, told me they were very strong that he'll that's probably win that award. But that's what they're relying on back here. So uh, arm Mansfield's got some strong D-backs and center backs, and they're just going to play defense. They're going to let uh, Otterville try to play their game and then come to their defense, and, and they're going to man mark um, Otterville's best player out there. So that's kind of one of the things that uh, Mansfield's going to be doing tonight to try to take away to number 14 for Otterville. So, uh, yeah, Otterville is... Or, I'm sorry, they're going to take away Preston Mansfield. On, oh, yeah, on number here. seven. Yeah, yes. number seven, I'm sorry. So, number 14 is going to be man-working him all night. So, that's kind of their game plan. They didn't want to tell anybody. He was <laughs> telling me early. <laughs> Stephen Arthur. So this is top secret information. <laughs> this is top secret information. Yes. We just unleashed it. I actually went over and interviewed Stephen Armstrong. He's a 12-year coach at this program. They were state champions in 2014. They've got a young squad out here that's not been in the past sectional since 2017. So not much experience out there. But like he said, these kids have been around soccer. They've got, they've got brothers in the program. They've been around when they were state like champions. That, uh, so they got uh, – he said they got uh, – Oh, just say, hey, thing, man. Most definitely. Right now they've been playing a little bit more defense as Audeville has been playing in their attacking half of the field uh, in these first five or six minutes of the game. Connor Luce, the keeper, already with a couple. And there's going to be a penalty on Audeville. A little bump there at the 45-yard line. Okay. Um, Free kick for Mansfield Christian in the Flames. So they got a free kick out here. So now Audeville's back on the field. See what happens out of this. Lofts this one into the goal box, yes. and that'll be headed Everything's away from like danger. Towards the sideline, coming to chase it down. Is it going to be Schnipke again? Schnipke sends it long, but nobody's going to be able to catch up to that. That'll harmlessly go back to Connor Luce. Uncorked one there. That'll go out to the far sideline to Everett. I'm starting to get busy. And sent down the sideline, stolen away by Audeville. Coming up with it, Jordan Landlin. Yeah, so basically, Mansfield Christian's going to allow Baker to start the ball. You can see Griffin Baker's already made several touches on the ball. He had to save over the top of the corner for Audeville. Now he's got a nice punt out of the back of the their defense and try to get some, uh, some get Mansfield out top. of the defensive third a little bit. Yeah, pardon me, you're right, that yes. is Griffin Baker who has Cyber. the two saves. Ottaville in some dangerous territory on their attack. Trying to work it out to the right, uh, not going to get the call there. As he got tangled up a little bit, but both players going for the ball. Referees say play on. That's what I like about doing games with referees. You can, you can tell me why they didn't make that call right there. <laughs> yeah. I think it was a pretty non- uh, the angle, yeah, and, and that's what fans don't understand. The biggest thing in any game is the fans see one angle, referees down on the <laughs> field. You got two ARs, you got a center ref. They see different things. So a lot of times, what you think is a foul is not a foul. Or if you're looking for the advantage, if he has an opportunity to score, you'd hate to pull that ball out of the net for a stupid foul. So here's a good run for Mansfield. There's a big steal up top by Smith, but Audeville did a nice job trailing back to play. Jordan Landon came back, knocked it out of bounds, and negated any sort of counter. And we're going to get a sub before the throw-in comes in here. 
We've played just about eight minutes here at Frost Cowdown Stadium in Tiffin, and we are scoreless. Where's the Ottaville Big Green? Such a good season, and they played some tough opponents. It, and the thing is, it feels like every game they played, for the most part, had to feel like a tournament game because they had a big, they had a big bullseye on their back coming into the season. A lot of experience. They're one of the stalwarts of the Putnam County League. Every time you play a league rival, they're going to give you their best, and uh, I, I think it's reflected in the scores. They played some close games all the way through. Well, I mean, they played uh, Kaleida and they play Continental twice in the regular season, one each, and then they got to go back through them yeah. in the tournament. And they were expecting to see Bluffton here tonight, and all of a sudden, Manchester Christian beats Bluffton, and now Bluffton's sitting at home. But uh, uh, they were kind of expecting to see Bluffton again. So those are the typical things you see out of the district that they come out of. But uh, this is a, um, a, a different team that's coming from a different part, so nobody's seen play this year. So they've had some film on them, and they actually did watch the film to try to get a grip on, a grip on them. But Ottaville coaches told me that, uh, you know, they get a strong defense, good keeper, so that's what they got to kind of work through tonight to try to score. Catlin Schlongbaum had the ball on his foot. You know the Big Green are going to want that there as he is the leading scorer for them this year with eight, or excuse me, 39 goals and 18 assists. That is an unreal figure. Two unreal figures. But as we said when we had the Ottaville Continental game earlier in the year, it's a guy who can shoot but can really distribute too. So you, you can mark him as much as you want, but he can still have an input. There's a cross into the box that want to go behind the net and a goal kick coming up for Mansfield Christian. Yeah, Schlegbaum's definitely the key for Ottaville up there tonight, and uh, and Mansfield Christian knows that. So they are, you know, they they were one of the key players when I asked him who they got to watch, and his number came up, and that's who they're going to be looking for uh, defensively to kind of get in there and make sure he doesn't get the opportunity to score in their defense. You know, Mansfield Christian's coached by Stephen Armstrong. He's been coaching that program for 12 years. Like I said, he's got one state title under his belt in 2014, so he's got the experience. And uh, they just got to learn to teach these kids how to become champions again. He's got one kid sick tonight. Uh, one of his key players, number 20, told me that uh, Isaac McFadden is yep. a key player for him, and he's sick. But he goes, I told him, he's got to play because either play or go home tonight. So uh, he <laughs> just wasn't feeling under the weather. But, uh, you know, this is tournament time. You don't have time to be sick. So go out and play your 90 minutes and then get ready to go home. And then hopefully they're playing on the next game. So that's what they're playing. Ottaville nearly was unable to get the clearance there, but it deflected out of bounds past the touchline. And now we a goal kick, excuse me, yeah, a goal kick coming up for the big green as they run some substitutions on and off the field as well. Ottaville's coached by Dustin Markward. He's uh, 50 years a head coach out there, and they were in the regional finals last year, so that's the farthest in school history they've made. And so they, they want to try to top that this year. So this is uh, a big game for them to get past. And then, Everybody's looking forward, assuming that Ottawa Hills is going to be there the next game. And that's what everybody's looking at. Ottawa Hills would be the big bad that's in the, Northwest Ohio. That's the big bad wolf right there that everybody has to get through in this part of the country to get to the finals. So, Well, right now, Mansfield Christian getting really their first offensive touches uh, in a consistent manner anywhere here about 12 minutes into the game. And the Big Green going to punch that one out of bounds past the sideline. So it'll be a throw in for Mansfield Christian, but deep in their attacking third. Yeah, it's a good opportunity for Mansfield. They can, uh, that's what their coach told me. They got it. They got it. They're not going to get a lot of opportunities on defense or on offense for Mansfield Christian. He said they got to make, they got to make opportunities turn into goals. And they're not. They know they're not going to get a lot. That's a big throw. That right is there. a big throw. There's the header. Wow. Defense right in the way, and that one sent to the sideline. I believe over there was Jordan Landon, the junior defender, who chested that one uh, away from the net. But. Ottaville not out of harm's that's way yet. That's going to be a corner. You're right. Is that one deflected it's off an Ottaville defender? We're sitting right where the sun's setting. <laughs> and the lights haven't taken control of the game, so it's really tough right here. But, uh, yeah, that was a deflection error. So, Mansfield Christian is going to get their first corner of the game here. If the leaves hadn't fallen off that tree yet, I think we'd be okay. <laughs> here comes the corner from the far flag. This one's going to set low, and that one. squib across the box. Yeah, Preston Mansfield easily handles that. He's just going to set it away from any harm down the field, kind of decompress the field here. But Mansfield Christian, the Flames going to send it right back. Battle for possession, and the Flames come up with it. Sent over to the right side by Weston Neal, and out of bounds. Yeah, it'll be a throw in for Ottaville there. I don't know what he was thinking. He just kind of kicked it out there, and there was nobody out there. So good, good opportunity for uh, Ottaville to switch the field back here. So. 
Yeah, that's definitely good. Well, I thought we heard a whistle, but we did not. And Audeville will control. They'll get the advantage momentarily. A little physical, but it's a physical game. Yeah, and you know, I like to let them sort it out in the first 5, 10, 15 minutes, see where the game settles in. You know, there's a lot of adrenaline. Everybody's trying to figure out to make each other out. And don't really want to start calling the whistle too much unless Oh, that's a nice back foot pass. Yeah, and that one in the top of the box, trying to bounce it to the right side is Lease. And Lease had it knocked away from him. Alex Lease, nearly a scoring opportunity for the big green, but they'll have the throw. So, like I was saying, you kind of want the game to come to you as a referee. Let's see what the, see what the kids are going to do. Let them get that aggressions and that adrenaline out for the first 10, 15, 20 minutes. The game will settle in. And then until the last 5 to 10, that's when it really heats up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <coughs> that is a fact. There's the big throw. Oh. And that one is headed. That one went off a couple of players. I think it's going to be a goal kick. Should be a yeah, goal it kick. Is. It looked like it was off of an Audible player last there. So. <laughs> Pardon me on the cough there. Almost on the back side of this cold. I'm going to sound like Wolfman Jack by the end of this game, so <laughs> settle in for that at home, folks. Griffin Baker is set to send this one away. And that one takes a high hop as uh, Hoovler sends it upfield. But oh, nice run right Yes, there. it was. Right back to Hoovler coming down the left sideline. Made oh. one move around, and his pass didn't have enough weight on it to carry it in front of the attacker. However, Flames still on the attack. Hoovler. Ooh, that one went off of his boot incorrectly, and it'll be a throw in coming up out of Bill. Throw in for, excuse me, a sub for the big green as well as Jaden Saxton room comes back into the game. And if you look at the roster for Mansfield Christian, they're playing with two seniors. <coughs> so this is a very young team, a lot of great experience here for them going forward for the next several years. There's a lot of sophomores out there playing tonight, it looks like, but only two seniors in this program. So. To be in the regional semis with just two seniors, that tells you what your program's on the upward swing at this program, or at this point in the season and what looks good for next year. So. Most definitely. A lot of good young talent in Northwest Ohio on the soccer fields this season. Yeah, we're well, going to get a stoppage here. They're going to stop. No, they could get an injured player, to run. but he's going to talk to him to yep. see if he can regain himself. He doesn't really want to stop the clock because if he stops the clock, the player's got to come out. True. So he's going to walk him through it. So if he needs a stoppage, he will. If not, we'll keep him on the field at that point. And that's exactly what just took place. Yep, that's Quentin Schnipke, the uh, junior. Looks like he was rubbing his head. He might just had a bump on it, uh, you know, with the ball or maybe brushed the other guy's head when he was doing a header there. But Ball got poked away from Preston Mansfield. That's a pass down the line just off the mark as it was intended uh, for Everett Martin. Sophomore out wide on the left side. Yeah, we got a very experienced son out there tonight. The guy's name is Michael Mason, and he comes from up around Cleveland. He does college games, so he's got a lot of experience. The two ARs over there, one's Ben Free on uh, this side, and then Ali Zogram, excuse my language, mispronunciation. <laughs> I talked to him about it, but uh, he agreed with me. And then we have two fourth officials. Because the benches are on the other opposite side, you have to have a fourth official on each side. So they added one for each side. So you got Eric Deegan and Christopher Oaks out there tonight for the crew of. Uh, oh, there's a shot. That one's loose in the box and cleared save. away at the last second. And I'm not positive that that was a shot or if that was a drop that was just coming in hard. <laughs> but fortunately, getting his hand on it was Griffin Baker to turn it away. It looked like he might have tapped that out. I think he tapped yes. it just to the side, got enough of it. We'll credit him for his third save of the game. Yeah, you're getting your money's worth out of him already. Ready. There's a nice throw. Nobody on the back side of the net, though, for the big green. That one popped up high on the touch is trying to move forward with it was Carter Horseman. Still up near the top of the box, and now the Flames will find a clearance as they get it back outside to Everett Martin. But the big green have come up with a few good attacks here already, and we've played just about 17 minutes in this first half of action. There, Audeville's going to switch the field a little bit, try to pull out. Mansfield Christian spread them out a little bit. That's exactly what I try to do. They, Mansfield's going to lock that box in, try to play strong defense, and make you beat them at that point. But Ottaville's got to spread the field. And that's exactly what one of the coach, uh, Dr. Jamie Zeller, along with Mar uh, Dustin, and they said they need to spread the field. And that's exactly what they're trying to do right now. They want to make uh, Mansfield Christian make the big mistake in there so they can score on that soon. The big green trying to work it back around to the right side as they drop it back and get it to Jordan Landon. Well, that's uh, one of the things to know. Big green hasn't played on turf. It's a good boy. That was loose, and it's in the back of the net. And Audeville will strike first. 
Holy cow, Preston Mansfield with the shot on goal. He finds the back of the net. And Audeville leads by a score of 1-0 with 22-22 remaining in the first half. We'll take a timeout. Back with more after this on WOSN. Welcome back to Frost County Stadium. The Ottoville Big Green strike first as Preston Mansfield finds the back of the net. The Big Green have been threatening. They've been threatening. They finally find a way to punch one through. And I'll make a note. That's the first goal that uh, Mansfield has given up in the postseason. It is. Yeah, that's correct. That's, that is the first goal. So as good as their keeper is and their defense, that is the first goal they've given up in this postseason. So that's a big goal for Ottoville right now to come out and punch one in. And again on your Lee's Famous Recipe chicken scoreboard, 1-0. Audeville, Lee's Famous Recipe in Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe chicken, home style, happens here. And tonight's game also brought to you by Audeville Bank. They are the premier sponsor for Audeville Big Green. Audeville Bank, large enough to serve you, small enough to know you. As we continue with our action here from Frost Cowdown Stadium, you got the feeling that the Big Green were going to find a seam. They were going to find a crack. They'd been testing the keeper box and just had been turned away three times prior to that shot, finding its way through. And now that's a nice back heel pass. Again, off the foot of Schlagbaum and crashing that, almost coming up with it. And just sent away from him at the last moment was Trey Landwehr, who was coming hard. And that's the thing about this Audeville team that's so impressive is they play like every Putnam County team you've ever seen. They're fast. They're physical. They move up and down the field. They're a very downhill team. But they're so skilled, too. That ball got loose from the keeper, but they'll be able to send that one away. And now Mansfield looking for something in a counter, but that pass was off the mark. Yeah, that defender had some time to make another touch or two there. He had a lot of open space in front of him, and he tried to quick touch it out to there. And then right back to Audeville right now. So... They're setting up for another attack against that Mansfield Christian uh, defense, which is so strong. Yeah, you get one on them, you keep the ball because it doesn't happen that often. <laughs> so that's and a as big, we've seen, big goal. And as we've seen, Mansfield Christian, I mean, we're 20 minutes in. They've been down at the 18, maybe one, two times, and had one or maybe opportunity to get a goal, and everything's been at the other end of their defensive third there. So uh, Audeville is really putting on an offensive show, pressure on their defense. Just the 17th goal allowed by Mansfield Christian impressive. this season. Yes, impressive. And they play a tough schedule. I was reviewing some of the teams, and uh, some of their losses are big. I mean, Highland Berlin's right yep. there. They lost to them 0-2. And Highland's, like Ottawa Hills is over here, yep. Highland is on that side of the state in this, and they're a big-time program also. So they uh, their resume speaks for themselves for their losses. So just like Ottawa's. Ottawa's got an impressive resume. They've only had the two ties again. Very strong programs collided continental. Ball set into the box, and that one deflected up and now headed forward for the Flames. Again, if you go lightly to the ball against Audeville, they're going to beat you to it. You, you've got to be on your toes, and if the ball, does, the pass doesn't have enough tempo on it, you've got to go to it because the Big Green are going to come and get it from you. Well, Mark Wardward, um, Dustin Markward told me that uh, they're going to play it aggressive on that defense he said their defense wants to play aggressive they're looking for that foul they're looking they play aggressive in the box they're looking for the pk because that's what they give up Got an i think they're gonna say that one out of bounds so to throw in for Ottaville again leading one nothing on the lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard 18 45 remains in our first half of action so dustin basically said when we get in the 18 and coach your kids go after them defenders because they're going to make a mistake and try to get that pk there to get an opportunity to score that way also here's a nice oh, run one got by and uh, audible going to send that to the side as yes. quentin schnipke didn't quite get his foot on it and nearly the mistake that mansfield christian was looking for is isaac mcfadden was looking to go by but audible was there with numbers and able to send it away now they'll have the throw in will the flames far side of the field This, is, this guy's got a big throw here, and then that's like that's like a corner kick. Yeah, exactly. And I'll tell you, that's one thing I'm seeing more and more in high school. Kids are developing it. There's a shot, oh, and that left. one is wide left. Actually, I got more excited about that. But then you watch the keeper, <laughs> you and see, the keeper didn't react didn't at react. all. You know, it was about five, seven yards yeah, left Alex of the goal. Alex Seaver was like, what are you guys worried about? <laughs> and that's, that's what the fans, yeah. you'll see him get excited. Yep. Oh, 
But, uh, but I was going back to what I'm saying. You're seeing a long throw being developed in high school now. I'm seeing it a lot this year in the girls' program. Yeah. When you can throw the ball from the sideline to the center of the box, that is a huge play. And you're seeing a lot of that being developed through the high school programs. Yeah, that is a big weapon. And you're right. You're, I have noticed it more <laughs> and more. Now flying down the right side of the field, trying to catch up. And that one is Alex Lease. Lease trying to turn the corner. He's shielded from the ball by Luke Zerby. And Zerby will send it out of bounds. Here comes a throw in Audeville. Audeville's play these a little bit shorter and really low. We've seen a couple of corner kicks for them come in low mm -hmm. uh, on this side. Let's see if they try and do that uh, well, this time, although they're really packing the, the middle of the box here. That's a big throw that there. That is a big throw. There. That is headed back towards the net, but we're going to get a whistle before that header. It's going to be a free kick coming up Mansfield Christian. Must have been a push in the box there, trying to gain position. A little foul on Audeville coming back this way. There's the big free kick, but headed forward, or headed back that way by Carter Horseman. Trying to tip it forward, and that Point one still loses. He it? did stay with it. That's that Saxton, and there that is. Nice that's deflected out of bounds. Pardon me, that's Peyton Preston Mansfield. Yeah. And another corner kick coming up now. There's a low left footer, and that one is sent back out. And we're going to get a throw in this time. Keeping it low and on the ground, though, from the corner again. Here's the throw. That one headed to the middle of the box. It bounces, and it will be not quite set away. That one went high. Big Green able to send it forward back towards the keeper's box. Good battle right there, working. Oh, he popped it forward. Still working on a dish log bomb, and now it'll bounce back out as it finds Lee. Grant Lee sends it in the middle, and now the Flames get clearance. 15-42 remaining, and Ottaville again putting some pressure on that Mansfield Christian defense. Good patience there by the defender and Carter Horseman, but it's deflected right back at him. Oh, mm, that one. nothing there. There's no call there. And it's the Mansfield Christian player who initiated the contact right. who was he took down. The blind over. He, yeah. he, if anything, I would have thought that would have been a foul on him, but he, they're letting that play on and looks like the advantage. It well, must have deflected off of the Ottaville defender, so right. it's going to be a corner kick. Corner, in here. absolutely. So now we'll see how Mansfield Christian handles this. Flames put this one in the middle of the box. Initially headed away. That one wow. miss hit and then sent away. Getting a foot on it was in Davis Wyshynski, but he just couldn't quite get the bulk of his foot on it and did not send it at the net. There's a chip for by Mansfield Christian, but easily bounces into the hands of Alex Siever. He's got a big punt there. Yes, he does. Yes. That's a big advantage for Ottaville right there, trying to get the ball down the other end. That is not wind aided either. It's a very no, cold There's no night wind tonight. out here tonight. I noticed that. It's a beautiful evening. Nice move to the left side. Is Literally, I thought that was Mansfield, but it will be a set back away. A couple of deflections. The ball eventually finds the foot of Andy Mormon. Mormon goes back to his left side. Trentman with it. Swings it out left. Ball deflected. Preston Mansfield comes up with it. And able to keep it alive? Nope. That one no, it stayed didn't in. go out of bounds. Oh, it did go out on the far side. Okay. So we were going back to first game for Otterville to play on turf. This yeah. Is, so this is, uh, you know, trying to adjust to the speed of the turf is good. And it might play in the hands of Otterville because they're a fast team. Yeah. That ball's going to play fast. So this is, you can see the difference already, the, the adjustments that they're making to try to spread the ball and work it across the, the, across the field. And that's exactly what they're they're actually doing out here tonight. Yeah, it really hasn't seemed to affect the speed of their passes. They've, no. They've put them, I think, right where they want to, with the exception of that one that was stolen. But again, here comes Bonneville right away, putting pressure on that, that was one. out there. Yeah, Quentin Schnipke comes from behind to put pressure on mm -hmm. that. And Mansfield Christian thought they had a little bit more time to work with it. They don't. As a result, they end up turning the ball over, throwing Bonneville. <laughs> ball headed right back out. Another Bonneville throw in. I do have a theory on turf fields. I'll give it to you here in a second. Okay. I've only run this essentially by my wife and my dad, so I, I have <laughs> so no sight. It's yeah. authenticated. Now. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know that. Uh, 
any soccer bites have uh, had a lot of schlagbaum sends a, a crossover. We'll get to it in a second. That one, you know, the turf monster. You can go ahead there. and say your wife's always so, right, and I'll agree with that. She is. I don't know if she agrees with me. But, so on the turf fields, the turf fields tend to be larger fields than the grass fields that we sometimes, see in the area. Yes. So sometimes I think we almost split the difference because a slower ball that finds its way out of bounds on a grass field might run faster here, but still finds its way out of bounds, even though it's a little bit of a larger field. So I almost think we split the difference. I, I, I tend to agree with you because kids will think that's going out and they could have made that play. But right. they go, oh, on a regular field, that would have been out of touch. Yeah. They're not recognizing the speed of it. And it has a different spin. That's Just, true. And, and, and the spin, and you'll see that ball hit the ground, especially on a punt like that punter did for uh, Audible. That ball spins and it's got a different spin. So when they're trying to get it back on their foot, sometimes you'll see them miss kick that. Penalty called against Audeville. Here comes the free kick for the Flames. And that one's going to be bodied down by Mormon. I don't believe uh, Audeville has played anybody on turf this whole season. I have to look at their schedule, but most of the PCL is all on grass. Yeah. Audeville not able to quite clear out of their defensive third here. Infield Christian putting on... A little bit of pressure here with 11.34 remaining in the first half. That one, though, is going to be sent wide and out of play. Well, I'll take that back. Uh, I'm looking at Otterville schedule. They played Lima Senior and Allen East. So if, let's see, where's that at? Allen East. So they did play on turf there. And then Lima Senior. So they've had a couple yeah, they've, they've had a couple games on turf. So they've got the experience. But it's becoming more and more turf fields. Yeah. are becoming more common in the area. I think the one thing that I really like about them, and I wasn't sure about it at first when you first started seeing soccer played on it, but you do get true bounces. You don't get those errant random bounces. Now Audeville has an attack forming, trying to get to That's it. That's going to be a corner. I has Preston Mansfield who was pressuring it, but it's oh, not no, He went goal kick. I guess oh, he wow. did. Oh, wow. Our angles again. Looks <laughs> different. <laughs> And you notice the keeper didn't come out and try to play that. He challenged, but then he let his defense control that play out. He, so he trusts his defense there. So that's a smart play by that keeper. A lot of times you'll see that keeper come out and make a mistake, and then a good team will bury yep. that in the back of the net. But uh, he just trusts his defense to make the play. He'll send it out wide to the wow. right, uh, and that one well uh, takes a hop and then snacked by Alex Seaver. As there was pressure coming from the left side for the Flames, but Seaver takes it away before anybody gets a chance to put a foot on it. Big boot down the field is intended though for Brandon Cavillage. But the Flames will come up with it, sent forward by Zerby. Big Green will control it as they send it out wide to the left side. Centering pass is to Saxton. Looks forward. He's got his man there again in Cavillage. That's a nice defensive play, though, too, pried away by Anthony Smith. Yeah, and you can see the defense from Motterville. That's one of the keys to uh, um, Dustin telling me they want to defend the overtop ball, and that's how Mansfield Christian plays. They want to shoot it over top and run onto it. So you can see that uh, Otterville's doing a real good job with their defense of controlling that ball because that's the game Mansfield Christian wants to play. They're not a, they're not going to play in the middle and back and forth and make overlapping runs. They're just going to shoot over the top and try to make runs on And that's what we've seen so far. Otterville's done a pretty good job of defending. I think we've seen maybe one miss hit ball, but Otterville had the numbers back, so it didn't really amount to anything. They're going to have a throw in now, deep in their attacking third, and as we've mentioned, they're able to throw it a ton, especially when you have all of the track to build up your speed to get to the edge of the field. There's <laughs> a, a throw. Way. That one bounces once in the box. And trying to control it. Under pressure, spinning back to his right. There's the shot, Corner. and it is deflected. Oh, no, spun out. And spun right back is putting a move on that was Alex Luce. Finally set away by Manfield Christian's defense. Otteville will possess. Again, keeping it in their attacking half of the field. That one nearly got away, and it did get away. Bit of a mistouched ball and a throw in coming up. Mansfield Christian. Nice back heel ball to midfield, although that one nearly could have been picked off and running forward by the big green. Said they do end up with it. There's a pass forward to Lees. Lees goes oh. back to his left. Yeah, he wants that on his left foot. If he had a right foot there, he might have been on a bury one in the back of the net. He'd have had an opportunity, Absolutely. that's for sure. There's the long chip yep. that Mansfield Christian's looking for, but handled well. Well, they got a handball on Audeville Looks like here. Landon yes. Horseman may yeah. have got his arm on it. 
So here comes the free kick. They're going to quickly drop it. Audeville coaches are challenging the referee going, what uh, they say, they seem to saw it differently. So, but he's <laughs> like, nope, I got you here. So. Coaches do sometimes. <laughs> Fans do so. I know I have sometimes. <laughs> and uh, Audeville, uh, boy, a well-placed ball here could be dangerous. There's some good speed here. Yes, there is. Audeville has speed in all facets of well the field, done. but especially on the right side of the field. Bring it around is Grant Lease. Lease. Trying to get it away from Neal. Neal did a nice job shielding it away. Maxwell Christian didn't get the initial clearance, but no pressure, so they were able to finally get a touch on it. Send it forward. That one's headed back and right to Anthony Smith. Smith sends it forward. He look, Big Green keep a nice line. They've got four running together as a unit there. They're, they're moving together. They've got a nice line of four back there, exactly what you said. They're shifting together. They're working together. They're, they're working as a unit back there. And, then, and that's giving Mansfield Christian all kinds of fits right now over the top. Play Just over to the left side. With about under seven minutes to go, I mean, at this point, Otterville's controlled that side of the field at least 75% of the time in my mind, maybe more, but I'm just going to say with the time we've seen, yep. Otterville has been in their defensive third and their side of the midfield, uh, Mainsville Christian, quite a bit this whole half of this game already. Will be a flames free kick after the penalty called on Otterville there. Long free kick. That one's headed back to midfield. There's a big gap in players there. Yes, I, I don't know. If I was a coach, I didn't know why he would like to play. I would kind of like drop that back and work it across the middle maybe and find somebody to get some. Um, the midfield had a big gap there, like you said. The big green, no, not able that to was keep out. that in play. Yes. That was a, a good attempt by Landon Horseman. Couldn't yeah. quite track it down with 6.02 in counting rating in the first half. And again, Audeville up by a score of 1-2-0 on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Again, the premier sponsor for Audeville Big Green is Audeville Bank. Large enough to serve you and small enough to know you. Bum. Had some time. Worked over left side. He's oh, got some nice speed run there. Is. Really good confidence in your teammate to know he's coming to that spot. That, that one's might be, be a deflected. corner. It should be a corner. Absolutely. And, in fact, it will be. So the Big Green, can they tack another one on here before the half? How huge would that be for the Big Green? The confidence with the 2-0 going in at halftime against a team that has not given up any goals this whole postseason would be huge for Otterville right now. So this has come from the far side of the field. That one across oh. the net, and that one sat down in the box. That's I think another it's corner. Be another corner coming up. Yes. This is going to be about the fifth corner for Ottaville. Yeah, for Mansfield Christian, they beat Van Buren 1 0, 2 0 winners over Corey Rossen, and 1 0 winners over Bluffton. All coming out of District 8. There is a long cross. That one got through. I think Ottaville got ahead on yes, it. So that's why he had it to, down. Yeah, yep. that's why he was chasing it down there. Got down and hard to see numbers from this side over here, but uh, able to get the tackle and keep it alive though. Well defended though. <laughs> yeah, that was a good Tangled battle. up there, but uh, no fouls there. So good battle both ways. That one back heeled into the goal box. Nobody's going to be able to get to it. If Maker picks it up, no harm done. He's going to boot this one down the field. And just a quick battle for possession in midfield right now. Now Mayor. Ainsville Christian's trying to make a run here. That's the look they want. They want that long loft and have someone run onto it. They've got speed on the that was edges great. as well. <laughs> but just defended well. Defended well by Horseman. He shielded him to let it go. He'd rather make that long throw because when you got throwers like that, that's transitioning back the other way about 30 yards. There's the chip forward and trying to get to it. As he pressed in Mansfield. Mansfield split two defenders, puts the shot in it. That's a wide. To I the think right. that's another corner. Nope, you got a goal kick. Signal goal kick. Yes. Looked like he might have got it, but uh, another goal kick there. Big Green fans were hoping for a penalty kick there as <laughs> he hit the dirt or hit the turf as he launched that shot. Yes. That's exactly what I was talking about by their coaches. They're they're going to attack those defenders in that 18. Every time they get in the 18, they said they're going to attack them, hoping to draw that. So the Flames dodge another one here. <laughs> Big Green have been on the attack. They have three shots on goal, four shots on goal, pardon me. One has found the back of the net. One up and score. Ball set down. That's a nice turn to the middle by Schlagbaum. And Schlagbaum just had it knocked away. Three minutes remain in the half. There's a good run by Marion Christian. If he can keep the ball now, he's looking to pass. 
Well, that's speed through the middle. There's a bump to the go right off. as going is uh, Baker, and that that's one is out of bounds and a corner, corner. kick coming up. There was no doubt he was going to not pass that. He he had that ball on his foot, and he made a run. That's the best run I've seen him make up the middle on that defense all night. Boy, a lot of people can go fat. There's a header. That one's still loose in the box. Still. Audeville looking to get it away. It's a nice, calm pass out to your left instead of just sending it. And now maybe they've got something in transition and a possible counter. You get a three-on-one situation right now. There it is as they get it to, to Schlagbaum. Schlagbaum right He's side. Off. And it's off sides as Leeks yeah. fires it in, but it will not matter. Yeah, they had him off there. That was close. a pretty looking attack by Ottaville. They got <laughs> a couple close. steps ahead of themselves. <laughs> but, boy, you get those three running in tandem like they were in about that alignment. It is so hard. Will happen for we're the watching green. the ball. We're not watching the player yep. that's going to go to. That's a lot of times where the fans get confused. They go, well, he received it, you know, so it's when the ball's kicked. So Had a step maybe two on his defender. Right. Otherwise... Big Green were looking at a really good opportunity. <laughs> With the men of 43, they really would love to have another one right here. <laughs> they may get it the way that they're attacking here. Looking to make a cross here as Saxton. Another throw in. Throw in Audeville. Quick substitution as Andy Mormon comes back into the lineup for the Big Green. I think he's going to replace Saxton. Yeah, if I'm, I'm no hurry right now if I'm Audeville. You're controlling the game. Take some seconds here, relax. Get yourself set in a set piece here and try to do something with that big throw in and exactly what they're working on right now. Defensive header set it away momentarily, but it finds its way back to the foot of Schlagbaum. Goes to his right. Looking to make a cross. That one is bumped away be a, from him. Did oh, get out of bounds? Oh, he no, saved it, it to throw in. But it will be a throw in. Like we've said, this can practically be a corner kick from this area. Yes. Let's see how they'll choose to attack this one now inside a minute to play in the first half. Long bomb the throw. Launches this one into the middle of the box. It's going to be a corner. And out of bounds. And oh, no, he's got goal kick. It will be a goal kick. Both of them. So again, Audeville threatening, unable to find the back of the net, but they have been on the half of the field they want to be more <laughs> often than not in this contest. Defensive half of Mansfield is exactly where Audeville has been the whole game, and that's exactly where he wants. they want to be. What you would like is to have a lonely goalkeeper. Yes. And uh, certainly, uh, Seaver's had a little bit of work to do. No saves to his credit uh, yet tonight. Yeah, they're He's just going to factor when they've needed him. And now, Audeville with five seconds left in the half. We just send this over to the near sideline. That will do it. We've played 40 minutes here at Frost County Stadium in Tiffin, and it's the Audeville Big Green fighting the Mansfield Christian Flames by a score of 1 0 on the Leeds Famous Recipe Chicken. We'll break for half. More after this on WOSN. Back underway here in Tiffin at Frost County House Stadium. Doug Jenkins, Brian Wallace with you here. Jacob O'Neill on camera for us for this regional semifinal matchup of Boys Division Three High School Soccer. Audeville on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard leading by a score of 1-0. Lee's famous recipe chicken in Walpock and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken home style happens here. Well, we saw Audeville on the attack quite frequently in the first half. Brian, you look at how this second half is going to shape up. What does Audeville need to do to secure this victory? Conversely, what does Mansfield Christian need to do to try and level this one? Well, if I'm Audeville, I really just keep with the game plan we had in the whole first half. I mean, they had the uh, keep the uh, field spread, control the game, and that's exactly what they did. Now, Mansfield Christian, on the other hand, they're going to have to find some way to get some people moved up top and try to score because they're not used to being down 1-0 in the, in the uh in the tournament now. So now they've got to find a way to score. And you saw in the first half, there wasn't a whole lot of opportunities there. And that was one of the things that Mr. Armstrong talked about. When they get an opportunity, they get a score. They haven't scored yet. So if I'm them, they're going to have to move some people up top and maybe jeopardize that defense a little bit. They may have to uh, play a little bit more aggressively. Yes. A little bit more out the wheelhouses. Alex Seavers set to send this one away on the, that one's low. And Ottaville able to control it. That's a nice pass to the left side. Can he catch you up to it? Yes, he can. That's Schnipke with the speed. Set that up just to make that throw in because they like that big throw. Schnipke, short throw. As he gets it 
to the foot of Trentman. That one set into the goal box, but headed away. Absolutely. They wanted a nice header off of that, but uh, Mansfield Christian stepped right in and was able to clear that out of there. That's going to be to the keeper. Well, yeah, they did get the offside flag up there, so it wouldn't have mattered either way. Anyway. Well, they'll give the advantage to the keeper if yep. he was off, so I'd rather be punting there and then trying to kick it. So Most since definitely. <laughs> so. That ball headed out of bounds, and now Mansfield Christian to throw here from the near sideline. This will come from Smith. Short throw. Wow. Audeville right to him, but that one got away a little bit. They've got to throw it to their own players there. They've seen that happen a couple times. They're kicking to the uh, big green. Mansfield's got to get control and play possession a little more here. There's the throw, and Audeville able to keep that in bounds as Trentman tried the clear and went off of Smith. It'll be a throw in big green. Ball is headed back towards midfield. Coming up with it, though, is Wyshynski, and Wyshynski, that one's going to hit the official, and so that'll be a drop ball. Mansfield Christian will have it there right in front of that 40-yard line. It can hit the official as long as it goes back to the Mansfield Christian. If it hits the official and goes to the other team, then they do a drop ball. That rule changed a couple of years ago where it used to be a, just a drop ball to both, but yeah. now as long as it didn't change possession, they'll let that play on, but it, evidently, you know, that ball went right to the big green, so they give it right back to the white. That one's he was on. He, he was on. This could be. Here comes the pressure. Oh, he pushed him from the. Oh, no call there. The whistle there is coming up with it. It's Schlagbaum again. Schlagbaum crosses, chested down. Audeville Big Green running downhill at it. That one got loose in the There, box. he called the foul there. Yes, he did. And so yeah. Mansfield Christian will be able to come away with a free kick here. And main, yes. I think that was kind of a retaliation there because <laughs> I think. He did not see the push in the back on Mansfield Christian, and then he blasted him there. And usually that's the call that you get <laughs> the second one. So the retaliation. <laughs> They're always the retaliation. Yep. They're oh, like, that's well, a nice you move to the left. Through ball nearly found its mark. As Trentman brings it forward, wants to go to his right. Centering pass is just off the mark as he tried to get it to Preston Mansfield. Trentman. Yeah, Makes a move to his left. Can he keep his feet? He is able to. Punches it to the right. This should be a goal. This should be a shot, and oh. it is right into the keeper's breadbasket. Still loose in front of the net. And well played away. by the defense. Wow. Another oh. great opportunity there for Otterville. Great, great work by the defense and the keeper there for Mansfield Christian. Griffin Baker is going to come up with his fourth <laughs> and fifth saves on the, that opportunity. The first one was a laser. The next one he was able to just parry away and deflect it to somebody who could get clearance. But Otterville. Not done yet as they're right back on the attack. Here comes the throw in and they're attacking. Third. Now you understand why he was nominated for All American Keeper in Ohio this year. So if he plays like that every game, that's exactly well deserved reward if he gets that. So pass into the middle, spinning back to the left. There's a nice through ball, and I think that would have been on side had it made its way through. Yeah, the AR went to the position and was waiting to see where the ball went through. He definitely would have been off, but this is on here. Well played by Bainfield Christian. They're still playing with that defense. Again, they yeah, got one. Four tag. <laughs> well, you can see they've run, they're only playing one up top, so they're, they've got to free somebody up to try to come down and equalize this game. And that one going to be sent down the sideline out of play. Throw in coming up out of Hill, Big Green. Loose ball in the center circle. That one got through. There's a shot. That one's going to go harmlessly to the left, though, and Big Green going to wish they had that one yeah, back. <laughs> and so now we'll get the free kick, or the goal kick, rather, for Mansfield Christian. I like the way that Audeville is attacking. Their diagonal passes have been really strong here all game, but you're starting to see them develop even further now. Right. They're working inside, outside, back inside. They're, 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 they're playing it, just spreading the ball and doing a real good job of trying to keep Mansfield Christian off balance. On a strong defense, that's what you got to do. Try to keep them off balance and try to sneak one in behind. And that's what they did in the first half. And another goal here would really put a big deficit for Mansfield Christian because they're not used to getting scored on. So... Indeed, they are not, but get them across midfield. 
This guy is dangerous with the ball right there is Weston Neal. He is fast and has control of it when he's moving with yeah, tempo. He's one of their key players that Audeville was trying to control, so. That one got over to the right side. There's Logbaum. Logbaum sends it forward. It's going to be offsides, and it'll be the Flames getting the ball back. And <laughs> the Flames are lucky on that one. He doesn't have to play the – Otterville doesn't have to play the ball there. He just got to challenge the keeper, yep. draw him in, so then he'll call the offside. So I definitely would be rather taking this one here from the 20 than taking a goal kick or something back there. So – They've got to turn and do something with this. Mansfield Christian's got to start finding ways to get behind that stiff Otterville defense. Obviously, we've talked a lot about Mansfield Christian, or excuse me, Mansfield Christian's defense, but Otterville's defense has been strong all season as well. They played some good kids this yeah. year. I mean, Bluffton and, and the Continentals, those are programs that expect to be here every year. And, yeah. and to get there, and, and their defense has survived this year, and, and uh, they've been challenged. So the experience pays here, and this is what you're starting to see take over in this game. So Throw in coming up. Mansfield Christian, that is a big bomb into the goal box. Well read, though, by the Audeville defense. They headed away initially. The Flames trying to find something there, and as they drop it back and get it to uh, Neal, and Neal had that one knocked away off of Audeville throw in coming up. It'll be the Flames once again. Thought well, maybe initially there was a handball, and yeah, that will end up being the case. Yeah. One of the key players missing in that defense out there for Otterville is Noah Sellers, and he had a season-ending yeah. in, season ending injury, I think they said, against the um, second to last game of the season. I don't know who that was, but they let's shout out to him. And This is his senior year, and, and I talked to him before, you know, and he was, he's getting around really well, had surgery, I believe, and uh, – Sure would love to see him out there. Yeah. <laughs> Those are heartbreakers. <laughs> Those are tough ones. For you know. sure. So good luck in his uh, career, what he does after high school. Now Mansfield Christian will have the throw. So we've played just about 10 minutes here in the second half. one nothing remains the score in favor of Ottaville. That one headed into the goal box. It'll go long and out of bounds. So goal Griffin, kick coming up. Um, Mansfield Christian, of course, is going to miss Griffin Baker next year. And that's going to be a key part of what they're losing next year. That's one of the two seniors. So that's going to be a big hit for them to fill next year. But he's going to go down to Florida and play with his brother at a small Christian college down mm -hmm. in Florida, I was told. So good luck to him next year also. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be a – if you're losing an All-American keeper, if that's what happens in the voting next week, that's going to be hard to replace next That's year. tough. That is tough. It's always, I think, a position that people both respect and don't understand right. at the same time. We've talked about it here on WSN a few times. Garrett Trentman receives the pass as Audeville tries to switch the field. Now they send it to the near side, Lease. Lee sends it forward, deflected out of bounds, throw in coming up, Audeville. They'll send in a couple of substitutions real quick. As Alex Lee comes in, Trent Mormon re enters the game for the big three. Throwing is going to come from Grant Lee's. I don't think uh, Mansfield Christian subs. Have you noticed? I don't. Uh, maybe one, two. Not here. often. No. They're relying on that. Uh, Can he get to it? No, he cannot. Oh, it's going to be a goal kick. Again, that closing speed makes that team <laughs> so much more dangerous. As on grass, he might have got that ball. But yeah. on this turf, the, the dimension of the speed of him and the turf, I think that's where he missed it. But uh. yeah, Kellen Slugwell, can you, it's one of those things, he could really change his pace, too. Yes. That one's passed forward. Coming up with it, Preston Mansfield. Mansfield tried the centering pass, and I think that's kind of a mental error there on Mansfield Christian. There was no reason to send it out of bounds. You had time to turn and look upfield. Yeah, Kellen Slegbaum, he's another senior for Otterville. They're going to miss him next year also, and um, that's going to be a position they're going to have to fill next year. But uh, they want to get as far as they can this year, and the state title's in their minds. And Ball's uh, loose in the box and well diving played. out to get it. Well played. It's a very brave and aggressive move by Griffin Baker to come up with it. As the ball gets back to midfield, this is where Mansfield Christian, they're trying to get that counter going, but... They just have not been able to find a whole lot of time to run in space when they get into this particular no. part of the field. Although this one finds its way back in on the mark to oh, Weston. And that's that going to be a corner. Yes, it is. Lucky. He came from nowhere to save that because that would have been a shot on goal right there. 
Wow. Weston Neal was coming in a hurry. That was the equalizer. And you could see the aggressiveness by Mansfield Christian. They fought that all the way through, and they battled to work that into a corner for them. Now the big green trying to keep this one nothing, but an opportunity for the Flames. There's the corner. It's a big ball. That one's headed, uh, but that one is high. Up and over the goal post, so it's a goal, goal kick. Had a good look at it, just couldn't quite turn it down the way that he wanted to. Yeah, he seemed kind of went off the top of his head. If he could have got up a little higher and got that angle down, that might have been uh, trouble for the big green there. I believe that was Christian Mallory coming in there. Schlag Bob makes a nice move. Can that ball get through? No, it cannot. And again, it's one of those passes. Otterville's had a few this half where if that just pick, takes one <laughs> bounce past the defense, they are off and running. But the Mansfield defense is Done a good job of hunting those yeah, down. Stifled. I mean, it, they're very good defense. Absolutely. They know where to be. They know where the angle is. They know where to play the ball back to. I mean, they just battle. That was nicely shielded by Lease initially, but coming up with it again is going to be Weston Neal. Neal plays it to Smith out on the right side. Smith pokes it back, trying to get it to Neal. We're starting to see Mansfield creep up a little bit into their attacking third. I think you're starting to see some adjustments get in there now. So uh, Mansfield's putting a little more pressure on Big Green. The ball rolled forward. Slug ball. Nice pass to the left side. A little bit too much on it, though. And coming oh, out and sliding wow. out to get it is the keeper, Griffin Baker. Just beats the big green player to the ball. Well played. Both both players. Yes. Both players timed that right at the exact same time. And keeper got it in his arms. And that one floated forward. Just it down. Uh-oh. Right back to Mansfield Christian, though. Chip this one forward. This could be a little trouble. That could be. be. Trentman is able to gonna be a throw knock in. it out of bounds. Throw in for Mansfield Christian. Yeah, the, the Mansfield Christian, I mean, we're ticking away now. We're down to 26 minutes left in the game. They've got to find a way to score here to even have any chance to equalize this. So the throw in is going to come from Luke Zerby. I've had to switch to the Mansfield Christian printed roster. My handwriting's not doing it for me anymore. It's not good. <laughs> I can't read my handwriting anyway. <laughs> that is a huge throw by Zerby. There. Headed in well, right, right into the, the hands well of Alex Seaver. So that was the same player that had the header last time. So Audeville's going to have to figure out a way to quit giving up these corners because no, that was just a throw. That, oh, that I'm saying. Yep. That's like a corner yep. when they're taking them, but they're putting them right in the middle of the box. Seaver will be credited for his first save of the game. Yeah, played it right to him. Now Mansfield Christian working with it. Their defensive third, trying to play it forward along that sideline. Ottawa going to boot it forward. We got a little time here. Pass over to the oh, right side. That time he waited step. too long. Yeah, that's great step by the defense there. Very good job by the defense. And coming up with that was uh, Caleb Everroad. And again, you can see they're trying to play that through ball through over the top. And it was well defended by Otterville. Swing it over to the right side for the big green. Trying to bounce it out wide to the right. Coming up on it is going to be a Mansfield. And the ball is going to be deflected away. The Flames play it forward. Zerby with it. Pardon me, that's going to be Tristan Johnson. Johnson plays it over to the left side. And bit of a collision. Both players hit the ball first, and it's it was. be out of touch on yep. yes. The Flames were able to come up with it, but then they just didn't have enough sideline to work with as they tried to work it back down that way. I, in my mind, I see a little sense of urgency starting to creep in for Mansfield yeah. Christian. You're seeing a shift of the field, and now they're attacking that defense instead of just kind of coming up and hesitating. They're attacking the Audubon's defense, and they're actually winning past the midfield now where they didn't have that control in the first half. Yeah, I mean, that header just kind of illustrated it Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And it, it really seems like, and we've seen it in the first half where Ottaville was really chasing down those slower passes. It's been Mansfield mm -hmm. that's uh, been paying off. If, if you pass it a little bit slow, they're attacking it, getting the takeaway, and then working back downhill against you. So now Mansfield Christian's got three offenders up top now, which is not what they, their game plan was early on. So now they know that they're going to have to find some way to sneak one in. And they've dropped from three, four defenders back up to three. So they're, they're shifting everything up the way they should be. It'll be another throw in for Mansfield Christian. 
because I don't think we saw that keeper come out and just hang out at the top of the 18 hardly at all no. in the first half. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> so uh, Griffin Baker is just kind of hanging back there, just kind of checking out the air back there. But uh, he's first half, he was pressured. He was moving, but he's just kind of taking a break back there. And Mansfield Christian is really fighting hard now at this point. Slide tackle and almost able to keep it. Yeah, keeper. Good. Good. Good job shielding the ball and then working back to it. The ref has definitely let these guys play through this. They're they're figuring it out. He's let them play. He's called it. It's a good, good ball game. if he can get it. He can coming in. Got a cross. Slog bomb a goes to his right. Takes the shot. It's deflected though. Back away and finds its way back out to Neal. That was a great opportunity by Slog bomb there to take that shot. Great timing. Great opportunity. Right when he needed to take the shot and this could be dangerous as Neal gets the takeaway. Plays it forward, but plays it too far and into the waiting hands of Alex Seaver. I think I would have liked to see that one go out wide a little more there because he had a guy out there kind of open on the flat, but uh, to send that through the middle with three defenders back there and right to the keeper. Yeah, boy, the way that initially took shape, though, mm -hmm. felt like that an equalizer dangerous. could You're come out of that setup. Yes. We're just about halfway through the second half. 22 minutes remain. It's one nothing in favor of Ottaville, leading Mansfield Christian. Again, the premier sponsor for Ottaville Big Green, Ottaville Bank. Big, or they're large enough to serve you and small enough to know you. Big Green today, Coach uh, Dustin Markward, they've been running subs in and out quite frequently the entire game. Yes. Like you mentioned, it's a contrast. There's a pass left side, schlock bomb, schlock bomb, trying to turn it back to the left. That would be a throw in for yep. Big Green. From right there at the corner flag, but it is a throw. Schlock bomb. Here he goes. Will be the thrower. Bombs that into the middle of the box. That one is batted down by the keeper. Bounces out. Smith is able to get a foot on it. Oh, great touch by Yes, Mansfield it was. Christian. Can they get it to Smith? They're, and they're challenging every ball right now. They are they are beating Ottaville right now to the ball and outplaying them, I believe, in my opinion. So we must have a handball right there. Please. Handball. That was an unfortunate, unlucky yes, bounce for Will Smith as it him. came right back to him, and he was not ready for that. But Mansfield Christian has really has stepped up to their game right now. That one's sent back downfield by Trentman. Oh, that's a nice pass. The nice touch, touch to the left side as they get it to Kavlich. Got Kavlich somebody opening across the middle. Puts it in the middle. There it is. He's going to get Turn a shot. the shot. Oh, Deflect wow. it away. Well defended. Preston yeah, Mansfield <laughs> made a nice move on that, but the defense right oh, in front of him. Tough kid right there. Yes. Man, I thought he was going to crank that, and Mansfield just stepped right in front of that ball, and boom, right back the other way. Got a substitution for Mansfield Christian here, so. Smith will come out. Haven't seen him come off the field Smith, much, I, if at all. I don't know if I can pull him out right now. That kid's been playing lights out this second half, and I'm sure he was a big part of the first half because I couldn't see the numbers done. But <laughs> this half, nine has definitely shown uh, why he's sitting back here in center back. That one bounces forward. And... I think what you like from Ottaville here is that even though Mansfield Christian has really upped their game and they've been the aggressor this half, you mm -hmm. haven't seen really any panic moves no, from no, Ottaville. They're no desperation. No. No cheap fouls. They're just playing their game, and that's what I would tell them right yeah. now. Yeah. Stay within what we coach you. Stay within what you know. Don't get the cheap shots and start fouling because that's where you're going to get in trouble. Um, here's a play forward. Big Green able to send that oh, one. Well, that's going to be a big – tap the other way so now yes Mansfield, it was that's and a, a quick, quick throw, throw too i think that's going to be a handball though and uh, it will be that was it was uh running into it there was weston neal yeah. he got it kind of pinned in between his arm and his, his body i think they called the foul there actually did they was it offsides yeah. okay Offsides foul, <laughs> whatever it is, it's a big break for Ottaville. Ottaville was in trouble right there. Yeah, yes. Mansfield Christian was on the attack <laughs> again. That was that one sent out of play. Throw in coming up, Ottaville. Inside 20 minutes left in the half now. I don't think that was offsides because the uh, center did not have his hand up as an indirect play, which is what bomb. That one is, is headed back in, then right into the hands of the keeper. That's about the sixth save for Griffin Baker tonight. Yes. That one, some come easier than others. That one yes. was a little easier, but uh, <laughs> nonetheless, if he's not right where he's supposed to be, that one finds the back of the net. I'll drop this one back and 
get it to Isaac McFadden. See that ball spin backwards and then misplayed by Mansfield. So what do we? It's gonna be a throw in for Big Green. Rowan coming up now, Ottaville. Let's go the other nope. way. Must Reverse the call. It'll be a Mansfield Christian. Might have been an illegal throw, or I don't know what happened there. It's hard to sell. tell. Second to the plane, number eight. A couple of substitutions for the big green. Just as we were saying, Mansfield wasn't substituting. Now they're making liars out of us. But they, like you said, they, they've had the, they're going to make a run here. I mean, it's 17-30 left in this game, and they got to make a run. They're pushing everybody up. Look at the back half of this field now. Everybody is across that 50-yard line, across midfield. Here comes the throw, big one into the goal box. That one is headed away by the big green defense, trying to move it away as Preston Mansfield. I'm going to poke it away to this near side, but Mansfield Christian first to it. Oh, that was a nice move Absolutely. to get back around Max Hovier. Hovier, rather. Those are plays they weren't making in the first half. No. They weren't finding connections. They weren't finding the open man. They were just playing like on their heels. Now they Mansfield Christian has settled in and playing a real nice game here. That one is going to be up and over, up and over <laughs> off of the foot of Isaac McFadden. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, if there's a stiff wind coming back this way. Drops it right in. That is a scary ball. <laughs> kind of a duck hook going down. A little bit. <laughs> but tonight, as we said, it's just a very nice November night Absolutely. for soccer here. I think it was 68 when I got here. I mean, it was just usually right here in sweats, shirts, <laughs> and hats, and gloves. But uh, Short sleeves all across the board in the press box here tonight. There's a steal at midfield. Pass to the right, deflected. Ottaville unable to collect it initially. Now that's a nice touch over to the to left side. This. Oh, game slog bomb find a way to thread oh. them. Unable to, but uh, giving chase is Preston Mansfield. Now he called the foul back. He lost possession. Yep. So the advantage went away. He bumped him out of the way. He was looking for the advantage on seven. Went away, so they're bringing the ball back here and get a free kick out here for uh, the Big Green. Big opportunity for the Big Green here. Here comes the kick from Horseman, and that one into the hands of the keeper. And again, it's Griffin Baker coming up big for the Flames. He put that one in dangerous position, just unable to find the back of the net. That pass didn't find anyone in particular. Mansfield Christian trying to take advantage, but that one sent long into the box. It's an easy one for Alex Seaver to take care of. He'll roll it out quickly. See if they uh, work the far sideline. Oh, got around one defender, bringing it in from the right. That one oh, deflects off a couple of players. That corner. should be a corner kick for Ottaville, and it will be with 15 11 and counting remaing in this second half. Ottaville with a 1 0 lead. Ottaville to do would anything love to pull one in yep. the back of the net right here. This is where they got to bury one in. Make no doubt that this is a two score game, and this is what Ottaville's got to connect right here. So Grant Leeds is going to go across the field to take this one. But Ottaville still has their three defenders with the midfield back, so there's more white shirts there. Low line drive, right. that one is chipped, and it is wide right. Yes. Wide yes. right. That's a good-looking pass and touch. Just couldn't quite get the angle that they wanted, but I think uh, Griffin Baker would have been in the right position anyway. Had so he... as much as Ottaville wants to score there, they didn't pull everybody up. No. They, they, they left their defense. They're playing their game. They're not going to say, hey, we don't need to panic here. If we get this in, we're going to get this in. But uh, you notice they had four players still back. And so there was a lot of white shirts there defending that. But they still got a shot. That could have went either way right there. So. so much of high school soccer, especially when you get into the tournament, is just about weathering the storm. And right now, Ottaville uh, certainly has been on the defense more than they were in the first half. Not maybe in storm weathering mode, but they have not uh, not well, broken. What you mean is, uh, you know, at this stage, you're not going to win games six, seven to nothing. No. One nothing, one, two nothing, maybe. You're going to weather that storm and just kind of say, hey, we got our goal. They've got to equalize it and capitalize off of that and make them put the pressure on Mansfield Christian. That's what they've done. And they've stayed right where they wanted to be. And the defense, you can see, is still playing right where they wanted that to be. That was a nice pass out Absolutely of pressure nice to get pleasure. it Absolutely. over to Grant Tretman. Uh-oh. Tretman plays it oh, forward. Here's comes speed. Oh. And the keeper is just able to get there. I really thought there was a miscommunication between the defender and the keeper. And then Ottawa was going to sneak in and get a tap on that. That 
one takes a long bounce, the big green play it forward. And trying to move it forward, but getting caught up there was Tristan Johnson. It will be a flame throw in though. Fadden lobs one into the goal box again. And I think that one almost got away from Seaver. Yeah, I think he, maybe he, he was thinking to sit down on it and <laughs> he, started he was, to sit down before he had it. I think he was wanting to sit down, then he tried to go up, and then it just kind of sat there. So he's we'll, able to hang on to that's it. That's why though. you coach your kids to go all the way to the keeper. You never know what's going to happen. This is a nice back foot. Right to Slugbomb. Slugbomb crosses Stop. to his right, takes one extra dribble. Get all they the want way the across foul the there. box. You can see he got bumped off the ball. The fans are screaming out there right now. Did not get the call, no. and that one will go out of bounds. And you're not getting that call because he hasn't called that call all night. No. So that game has been called the same from minute one to where we're at right now. So that's well officiated going, hey, it's going to have to be more than that before I'm going to call that, especially at the top of the box. You can see what Kellen Schlagbaum is looking for, just that <laughs> one more touch and then drive it. Yeah, I think he half a step he probably should have taken it just yep. a half a step earlier and he would have had a nice Play crank. forward, but Mansfield will not be able to catch you up to that one is – just a bit far ahead. And again, Audeville continuing to work those subs and keep fresh legs on the field. Yes. Because that's what Mansfield, they're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. Short pass as we approach what is always the longest part of every close soccer game, the final 10 minutes. Final 10, and we're the coming second on that. <laughs> Audeville fans are sitting there biting their nails and sitting on their hands trying to be. You know, that's a offside. That ticking. one. Yes, there's an offside call there. It was an unfortunate bounce as the Audeville was unable to reestablish themselves on sides. They yes. were not expecting to get the ball back that quickly. Over to the left side. The Flames play it forward through the middle and a slight tackle puts them back in the possession of the big green. Pass left side. Lease catches up to it. Lease coming down the left sideline. Takes one more dribble forward, looking for the cross. Doesn't have the step, though. Somebody needs to help him. They're trailing yep. with him, but nobody's giving him support. Right there, it comes down. He's going to get down into the corner and gets the double team. He's actually able to split it. Sends one flat across the goal, goal but there kick. was no one on the backside. Goal kick coming up. Boy, those balls that roll right in front of the net, if there's someone on the backside, that finds well, the back of the net more often than not. But so often you call somebody to be over there standing on the 6 or the 18 and call that the junk or, yeah. the, or the trash. Pick that trash up coming across. And so many times you see them balls and there's nobody standing there. I don't think really anybody expected him to split that no. double team. And for him to, to split that out of that bit. corner, because yeah. I really thought that was going to go off for a corner or out for a touch there. And, and he somehow split them and got that across that in front of that or in front of the goalkeeper there. And that one bumped out of bounds. Throwing coming up Ottaville. There's the throw in. Turn it to the left side. That one's centered. And we've got a big collision in the box. We've got a whistle, but they're going to call yeah, this against they Audeville. They called it against Audeville. And we are now inside 10 minutes on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. 1-0 is your score, Audeville. Leading Mansfield Christian. Trying to move on to that regional final. Smith back in there. They're playing him up here on the mid side now. Nice kick back. Take oh the ball with him. My. Nice. Well played by Ottaville. Trentman. <laughs> sticky feet to come up with that one as they switch it over to the right side. Absolutely. Played forward this time, though. No big green there in pursuit. And Mainsfield will be able to turn this one around without much pressure on them. Sent forward. It's a long pass that found its mark. A couple of deflections out of bounds, throw in coming yeah, up. Yeah, that's off Ottoville. Yep, deflected off of a green kit. Quick throw in McFadden. And the left foot will send it forward for Ottoville towards midfield. Oh, that's a foul. Uh, Preston Mansfield went up high. That's going to be a card, too. Yes, it is. is that will that... stop the clock with 8.56. That's Mansfield a reckless left play right there. Yep. That's a reckless play. So he's going to get a yellow for that. Comes off. They'll put him right back on the line. But yes, he knocked the uh, Audible player about four feet sideways off of that play. So, Tristan Johnson, the guilty party, will collect the yellow card. Yes. They only have to come out for one series, so he can go immediately back on the line at any time now. So the coach is holding him off there for a little bit. So and that's our key player. They got to yep. have him back on the field. 
But he's also saying, I need you for the next eight and a half minutes so you can't be stupid out there right, either. Right, Because really, that was a really bad foul right there. He, there was no need for that. They want, the referees are looking for you to go so many times, go straight up on the headers, and you can't go lunging into a player like that. No, now he loses his ability to really challenge a 50-50 ball quite as And he didn't even have a challenge there. No. He just blasted it through. So that was a good card issued by the referee there. Audeville has it. He had a takeaway. Down into the corner. Centering pass. Back heeled, but not clearance yet. Now that will be sent away from harm by the Flames defense. But this is what you get when you get under 10. Aggression, temper starting to key up because kids are going – Oh, this could be the last game right. of the year. And if you're a senior, this is my last game of a high school player. It's so going to be a foul. There's another foul. There. Yes. Got to take and, a look, uh, man. I think we're going to get another card. Going to get another card. Uh, I believe that one is going to be on Isaac McFadden. Yes. So McFadden will pick another up. Another key player for Mansfield Christian. Two yellow cards. And he's walking many him off. Minutes. He's going to go over and give an explanation for the card, it looks like. It looks like Preston's coming back on it. I'm not saying too much uh, demonstrative actions from the Mansfield Christian coaching staff. So, like, they just want to get their players settled down and get them back out on the field. Yes, and then, this is the inexperience and the youth coming out in this murmur. Get control, just control. Don't need to play with emotions, even though it may be your last game. Or, you know, everybody wants to win out here, but play with, within the rules of the game. Stop the clock with 8.18 remaining. I think Audeville tried to sub on that, and they were able to. Well, that one played forward, and it's going to go that. long and out of bounds. I think trying to spin back to it. There was Lee on the near sideline, but at least just couldn't quite get caught up to it. Now you're going to see substitution and quickly back on right to back the field. In. Yep. Now we're inside eight minutes remaining. And that's a rule in high school. In USSF and college, they don't have that. I mean, in high school, that player has to come off once he gets the yellow card. That's mandatory. Yep. So in the USSF, the youth, and then in, in college, they don't have to. It's up to the coach's discretion. But I, I like the rule because it calms the player down. Yeah, I think you'd see a lot of coaches perhaps even go ahead and Absolutely. take the player off the field, especially if it's a particularly contentious yes. game or something like that. Uh, and that's a play that you need on the field. Right. Uh, it will definitely be a strategic decision if they had to make it. That one is going to be deflected out of bounds goal and kick. goal yes. kick. Yes. It was nicely played by Trippman there. He was Very trying. patient. <laughs> yes. Knew the pressure was going to be coming and then was able to get out of the way when they tried to deflect it off of him. Yeah. Alex Mayer for Mansfield was trying to play it off of Green, trying for that corner there, but uh, didn't quite get it together there. And a handball there on Big Green. It's going to be an interesting spot. They quickly went at it. Yeah. Oh, he's got to yield the yards. Oh, yeah, he does. So they'll stop the clock, and that's going to end up. He's going to get a card yeah. for that. He did not yield the yards. You have mm -hmm. to be you, you, 10 yards yeah. is the rule. And he was about five, and he didn't even make an attempt to go back. Kind of started walking back and just right. didn't stop. jumped into it. So he's explaining it to him now because what you get a lot of times is, well, he didn't ask for a yard. He don't have to ask for right. a yard. The rule plainly states you have to yield the yards. So that's why he got uh, a card right there. Does stop the clock with 6.54 remaining. As far as yellow cards go, that might not have been a bad decision, though, because You're Mansfield absolutely Christian right. went with it really quickly. This will let Audeville set up their defense. Of course, Mansfield Christian can get set up a little bit more, too. We'll see how it plays out now. Now you see the uh, Dustin is questioning why did the card come in? And that's exactly what the same explanation he's getting here. So now uh, Mansfield Christian is setting up a set play here. I mean, that gives them time, 654. They've got a direct shot on the frame here. We'll see what happens. Do they want to go direct at it? They are going to play a set play and try to get a header, and it's going right in. Right into the hands. Yeah, they needed a little more chip. He's got to bury that in the back of the corner. He's got to play a half. So it was kind of half in, in between, in my opinion. But uh, as you notice, the keeper came way up there trying to get some uh, – Pressure back onto the big green. Alex Seaver will give him credit for a second save there. <laughs> that was. It remains one nothing Ottaville. So we went uh, basically, what, 80 minutes, and all of a sudden we've had three cards in two <laughs> minutes. <laughs> it is crunch time here. And immediately entering the game again for Ottaville will be Kellen Schlagbaum, who received the yellow card. 
There's the throw. It is deflected right back at the far sideline. Now there should. Oh, wow! He didn't. He let that one play through too. Can't let it play. And yeah. Getting it out of there was McFadden, but Ottaville with clearance. It looked like Ottaville might have been in some danger there. I thought yeah. Mansfield Christian was going to have a good attack, but they made a nice play well, to get back to it. I thought it would have been a little over the back on the Mansfield yeah. Christian on the Ottaville. That would have been a nice setup for Ottaville to get another um, direct kick on the frame there. Most definitely would have been. There's a play out to Smith on the right side. Smith plays it forward. That one deflected towards the near sideline by the big green defense. Now they're just going to try and send it out of harm's way. And they deflected it off of a white jersey, so a throw in coming up for Ottaville. Good break for the Big Green there. I thought perhaps they had set it out of bounds. Yes. So Oddville's trying to get their substitutions in because under the five-minute mark, the team leading will have to stop the clock yep. when they have a sub on the line. So Oddville wants to keep this clock running as much, so I'm suggesting that they probably probably have already put all their subs in that they want to so keep this game flowing. Johnson deflects it over to the left side. Big Green get a foot on it. That's going to go out of bounds. Lease unable to come down with it. There's a throw, and Ottaville quickly closes that, that gap down. Was charging forward to get to it was Andy Mormon. The big green come up with the steal. Oh, They've got some numbers. Right here. Play it forward. He's on. He waited he for the defense to get yeah, back. Yes, he back. did. This could be a uh, too heavy forward. touch. Oh, and actually, I think the flag is up on the far side. They got him for the offside? They did get him for the offside. I thought perhaps he got reset. From my angle up here, but he's got the better angle. It looked like he reset, and then the ball was played, and he went back. Yep. But he recognized that he was initially offside and stopped did. running yes. with the play. And then sped back up. Now on the throw. Bomb it in, but that one is not on target. Lease goes up, heads it forward, head it right back towards midfield. Yeah, there's and a foul on Big Green. Yeah, Lease ran into the uh, the player waiting Lease. on the ball. He going to card him? Yep. And that stops the clock with 4.04. Carton. Yeah, he's Carton there. Uh, Lease. Grant Lease got a card for that. Well, the official will explain it to, to the big green coaching staff, and that'll bring back out onto the field Alex Lease. And immediately they're putting him back on the line, which is within their rights to do that. Jamie Zeller saw him come off the field and said, get right back on that substitution line. <laughs> so that'll be the fourth yellow card in the final 10 minutes here. Wow, not even the last four minutes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so there's a set play for him. Though. That one sent into the box. Well and played. Four. Nice job by Alex Seaver. Did a good job commanding the defense, letting him know he had it. Came up, made the play, sends it away but it's immediately sent back in the direction of the big green. Left foot and forward. That's a nice job, slug bomb to shield and spin. Now he's coming up on the left side. There's a good pass. That's a one level on one pass one to one the to right the side. Our keeper there would be awesome. There's the shot, what fired a save. off of the hands of Baker. Still loose, had it a couple of times. It's gonna go out. No, he saved it. Still ball is alive. 328 here, Ottaville's making him Big attack on this. Eighth save for Baker. Wow. He stopped an absolute laser. One nothing remains the score, but now Mansfield Christian trying to play it ahead. That was nicely chested down. Way to get control of that for the big green. Played forward, headed forward, and now Slugbomb plays it off to the left side. His lease I think the, got caught up on the turf. Nope, they are going to say that he was aided to the turf by the Mansfield Christian player. <laughs> Yeah, Smith kind of got him tripped up there, but uh, like you said, he aided him to the turf, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice way of saying it. Yes. Grant Trapman. He's had some good plays here all game long, especially the second half. Sends it into the box, and well that one, though, to the keeper. right into the hands of So we'll go back, Baker. you know, to yielding the yards. It's easy on a football field to count 10 yep. yards, so <laughs> kids have an yeah. argument. Well, he didn't ask for 10. Well, you don't have to. The 10's already marked out here. <laughs> you can do the addition yourself. <laughs> Under two and a half left. Ottaville looking to move to the regional final. Two, and a, two minutes and 20 seconds from making that feet there, so. That ball sent forward. Right to, oh, he was, oh. Big green, I don't well, think he expected like he to have the ball one, yeah. But I don't think he touched it, so. The old chase down by Slugball. And that will roll out of bounds, throw in. 
Under two minutes It'll be now. Big green. Oh, they're going to get another. Yes. No, they're subbing. They stopped oh, the clock. Oh, they had to stop the clock yes. for it. And while they do that, we'll take a timeout as well with a minute 54 back after this on WOSM. Welcome back for the final minute 50 here at Frost Countdown Stadium. Audeville leading 1-0 on the league's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Doug Jenkins, Brian Wallace with you here on WOSN. It's the Big Green attempt to move on down the tournament trail. There's the throw. They're just going to throw it towards. They're going to have to get this out of there. That's a goal kick. Nashville's got to find a way to get this up the field quick. They can't be taking any more time now. Yeah, it does become a downhill soccer at this point. Yes. It's going to be out of touch on green. Yeah, they got a head on it. There's right a quick here. throw. They're trying. Big green able to retreat and get back in front of that to send it back towards midfield. Rustin sends it in oh, the goal box. It's set oh, high, wow. and Seaver comes up to get it. Oh, He had a man charging. <laughs> Alex Seaver, great anticipation on that, that one. That could be the play of the game in my mind right there, that the difference of going 1-1 right now because that was well played by – we've talked about Mansfield Christian's keeper, Baker. Otterville's keeper just made a huge yes, he did. attempt to save that ball. That could have made it all level. Absolutely. Now that one, that's oh. a slow roller to the back. It's going to go wide. It's one of those that initially, when it gets by the keeper, you think that's trouble, but the keeper had a great angle on it. 30 seconds left. Mansfield Christian sends it for a diving header to send Gotta it back it to the keeper. He pick didn't it pick it up. What's he doing? Oh, that is what? a mental mistake. Wow. By Griffin Baker, all he needs to do is pick it up and punt he it. Instead, he gives yeah. it back to the big green. going to score one more. And that one will bounce wide left for Belize, yeah, but it's not going to matter because there are 10 seconds left. I think it was just pure frustration from Griffin Baker as he sends it forward. Three, two, one. Ottaville will move on. Victorious over Mansfield Christian by a final score of 1-0 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. The Big Green remain unbeaten on the season, moving to 19-0-2. And Mansfield Christian, their campaign will come to an end with a record of 14, 6, and 1. We'll take a break back to wrap things up on WOSN right after this. The Ottaville faithful celebrating in Tiffin tonight here on WOSN at Frost Countdown Stadium as the Big Green Knock off Mansfield Christian by a final score of 1 0. Doug Jenkins, Brian Wallace with you on the call tonight. And uh, the goal for Ottaville coming uh, with uh, about 2 22 22 remaining in the first half. It was Preston Mansfield who hammers it into the back of the net. That is all the scoring that would need to be done tonight as the Big Green come away with an impressive victory. You got to credit uh, both teams out there tonight. That was a good game out there tonight. Mansfield Christian would not go away. No. And you saw that. We talked about they played a completely different game than what they did in that. They made adjustments. Audeville went out there tonight and come out at halftime and stayed in their game plan, and Mansfield Christian made adjustments. You saw the difference. That play by the keeper of Audeville, to me, was the difference in this At the game. very end that of the game, been, Alex Seaver. could be in a 15-minute sudden death right now with these scores in the goal. Seaver made a nice job playing it. Credit to, to the keeper for a Mansfield Christian is Griffin Baker. Eight saves, only let one by them. Nine shots on goal for the Big Green. I mean, they really, especially the first half, the Big Green really controlled the momentum of this game. They controlled the pressure of this game. They made Mansfield play on their heels a little bit and uh, able to get that one goal in. I was going to say sneak it in, but they didn't sneak it in. They powered no, that they one in. They buried that one there. So. And then they were able to just, like you said, time and time again in the second half, they just played their game. They had to, Mansfield Christian would get their opportunities, but you never saw – the big green, their lines were never out of order. Yeah. They're, they're every, you know, the midfield, they the adjust. defense, they were exactly where they needed to be. They didn't adjust to Mansfield Christian. They adjusted to, we're going to play this way. This is what we're going to do. We're going to make you beat us over the top. And Mansfield Christian adjusted, put some more players up top, and started playing a high line and getting through. And they, you could see the difference in this whole second half. Mansfield Christian actually 
probably possession yep. at both ends. So where it was like 75, we talked about that going nice in the halftime. But again, Ottaville, credit them. They played their game and came out the victors tonight. And congratulations to Ottaville. Well, that'll do it for our broadcast this evening. Again, one nothing the score in favor of Audeville. Big thanks to Jacob O'Neill on camera. Color commentary from Brian Wallace. I'm Doug Jenkins. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on WOSN. <laughs>